Oh, let's go, baby. Look at these blizzards. So welcome in to the risk meta settings. I'm going to be the orange player in the first position. And look at this almighty noob corner. Oh, I'm capping in here for sure. I want to see. I want red and white to both see my capital. Blue better not cap on here. I'll have to roll him. I would ideally love to cap like all the way out in St. Petersburg. If I cap in St. Petersburg, that's a one point hold on the entire noob corner. But if I cap on it, you know these other guys are capping in here. I'm capping here to try to dissuade them away. Blue has burgundy, which is a great cap, especially with a London blizzard. If he goes on this one, he's an idiot. Thankfully he's not. White didn't cap in here either. I'm gonna take this honeypot on the very first turn. Unless Red also caps in here and makes a four stack, which is very, very stupid. He's got a three here. He's got other options. He's got the two down here. Dude, Istanbul Blizzard, Orient's cut off from the middle. Uh, Africa's cut off from Africa. So, like, Greece is a, is a one point or a two point from, like, crazy holds. Down here, Burgundy and, and, and Vienna is, like, a two point on this whole section. It's all crazy. It's all crazy. So red gets eight on the first turn. So I also have to be a little bit careful of um, red coming off this two, making it a 10 and coming to hit me, right? So I have to I have to take some stuff, but I also have to not take too much damage. So let's do this. Okay, perfect dice and I will go the whole way. Okay. So at best, red is going to be able to make a 10 here, a 9v5 on my cap. At best, red gets a 9v5 if he tries me. I maybe should have tried a 3 on 1 out here just to try to get an extra territory. Um, extra territories are good to play for. Right? Like, I don't really think this 3 is going to do anything for me late game. If I roll it and lose the roll or, or only get the territory and don't get the 2 stack here and it's just a 1, it's still worth it to get the extra territory usually. Uh, just to give you that one extra troop, right? Early game. Sometimes you have 12 territories instead of 11 or 15 instead of 14. Just that little extra territory. I, so I, I do look for four on ones and three on ones usually in the first couple turns. And I roll them, not always, but sometimes I do look for them. And depending on how we're feeling, we do roll it to try to make sure we're getting extra troops. So our only thing we have to worry about right now is red adding here and coming at us. I don't think white's going to. He gets six, maybe seven troops on his first turn, which would be an 8v5, which is even less likely than red's. Yeah, I lose a couple territories here to blue. He also gets some perfect dice. So I was getting perfect dice, which made me commit to it. And then I had to lose one on the one. Just had to lose that one troop. I'm very thankful I didn't lose one on the last roll, though, because if this was a four cap, I'd be very vulnerable. Yeah, white doesn't even consider me. So blue's here, red's down here. Was black in the middle here? I don't remember exactly. We don't, well, actually, we don't know yet. Do we? Where's yellow? I just like, there's also, I guess, a small chance that somebody's in Finland with a cap and they add everything to the Finland cap and come hit me. Right? It was blue, white, and red in here. But we know it's not, we, we like, it's only black and then red. We know where red's cap is. So black would be the only risk of having like a Finland cap and coming in with a big stack. But it appears that's not happening. Looks like he's rolling a capital. Is that manually on a cap? It's not five. It's not the seven. There's no cap. Bro, if I could, if I don't get touched, I'm ram dangling Scandinavia and coming out to Russia. And then I'm going to have Russia on turn three. I think black was rolling somebody and blue saying good game. Did he break? Gascony, or is Blue saying good game because he saw something else happen? All right, Red, leave me alone. I don't want to see this territory highlight. I want to see you do anything other than highlight this ter this too. Sunsval, you need to stay dull. Come on. Yeah! Okay. Oh, baby, this is going to be a game. Don't hit my two. Don't hit my two. Hit the black one. Oh, blue one. Hit the yellow two, not my two. Oh, even better. Yes, yes. Right? That specifically, I'm on 15 territories. If I rolled that three on one, I would have been 16. So if he did hit the two, I would have been a little bit more protected. But I get 12 troops right away, and this is where we're going. All the way. Uh, this way. Full on Ram Dingle. All the way. Take all the territories. Yep. And then we're going to come out with this. This is a one-point hold, by the way. I can leave a five cap. I've got a seven up front. 
This is crazy. <laughs> yep, and yellow's going in and hitting black and this. There's no way black's got a bonus in here. Uh, yellow starts with five. Blue starts with... Oh, lost six troops! He lost whatever roll that he did. There was a loss. And then... What is happening? Blue started with... Dude, he lost all of his troops. Dude, was it black that was rolling blue? Did black come up and like abandon his capture roll? What is white starting with? Seven. Did white get like a second cap on the first round? I don't think so. Black gets ten now. He's got Spain and twelve territories. He's going to take the blue cap. So do I punish black or do I just take Russia into Orient? <laughs> do I just take, you know, Russia and Orient casually on turn three or do I punish somebody? We'll see what the burgundy cap looks like when black's done with it. Or maybe red goes off this three and hits it. We'll see. Oh, it's free. Yeah, Grande Luquinas. Luquinas from uh, Brazil is gone. We've got General Tripathi from, I'm unsure. Yes, yes, he's not going for this. That's mine. General Kala from United States. Uh, Vitil Naiho from Germany. And the red player, Joyful, Joyful Camel from United Kingdom. Now that is a name. Joyful Camel. That is a name. Now Black's getting 10 or 12 troops a turn. I want to protect this cap with enough gusto. Something like this. This enough? Yes. Okay. Um, am I scared of blue? No. Blue's the person I'm not scared of. Okay, let's just keep rolling. Just keep on rolling. Just keep on rolling. Okay. Nice. I just, you know, like, I take the capital, I take Russia, we'll just keep on rolling, we got the noob corner. Keep on rolling, baby! I keep saying keep on rolling, it keeps making me think Limp Bizk. If you guys know, that's that's a band I like to listen to. Gets me pumped up! Alright, what do you got, Yellow? You start with five. Why did I say that? In my head, I thought the word frog for some reason. Nobody's got a name that says frog, right? I like. I feel like I looked in here and saw the word frog, I don't. 23 troops killed, 11 lost. We'll just dab on that. It's, there's nothing to do with the 69. We're just, we're owning this game. This is turn three. Turn three, absolute destruction. And look at these blizzards. Holy. Yeah, Yellow's quitting. He's like, I, I don't want nothing of this. Which, I mean, if he doesn't break me here, then it's up to red and blue bot. Blue bot might add to this too and break me. Um, we'll see. Oh, man. Like, if Black's getting... I, I don't know if Red's got this bonus down here, but if Black's playing with Spain and Red's playing with Africa, they will tussle. I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, okay, it definitely breaks me. Yeah. I, it teased me first. I'm like, oh, it's a taker? And then it breaks me. Okay. Well, Red saw that blue broke me, so that's cool. Well, fine, should I take Eastern Europe? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> Yellow's gonna break. Yellow's eight's gonna start rolling, right? So... White gets seven, so it's still two capitals or something, or what? He's just trying to take this. What does black get? Does he get ten again? He rolled something else as well. Gascony in. Break black. Black gets ten. Maybe black has this part of Africa and a, and two capitals. Well, no, I have two capitals. White looks like he's got two capitals. Oh, white has no capital, but he has Spain. Black has two capitals and Africa. White has no capitals, but he's got Spain. So Spain's free. White can't go through my 11. So white's going to contest red here. What was that roll? Okay, he's split. He's coming up to make sure I don't have Russia. So what I need to do now is actually just fight black to the death. He came up with this five to make sure I don't have Russia. If you're wondering why, that's why. Oh... <sighs> So I actually need to knock Black out of the middle of the board, I guess. And then he can only break me through the bottom. I mean, I get a lot more troops than him, so it's perfectly fine. Do what? Some kind of reach around here? Huh. I'll use this. 
the 11 cap is probably fine. I also am going to consider card skipping next turn. I should have put uh, something here. Just in case black's going to try to break me through the back. I don't know if red's going to break me or not. Did red hold Africa? That's my question. No. He had a lot of territories in his cap, though. I'm, I'm also very hopeful black's not in, like, Rhine or Trieste or something in here, right? Like, I, black might have, like, a grease cap and then yellow bought it because black's got a grease cap and yellow's here and he's stacking dinerides in Romania to mess with them. Or, like, because he's a bot and it's guarding. Uh, the eight rolls up. Yeah, I get broken again. Oh, I hate this game! <laughs> yeah, I thought about leaving, like, a three or something split here and I forgot to. What loses that roll? What did yellow start with? It's five. It still has its cap, yeah. So yellow's cap is probably here. So it looks like black and white got into a fight over this part of Africa. Maybe white rolled black's cap. No, black was manualing a cap, right? So I guess he got it. And then white was just left with over here. White getting seven a turn. Even if he trades, I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm not worried about the 11 cap. It's pretty fine. Black's going to get 10, and he's going to add here to try to come up and break my Russia. And he's going to discover he runs into a 10 stack. Although, it's already broken. So, win for him. We do have a sort of a blue kill guard down here. I might knock that out, though. So blue trades somewhere else. I don't want blue to trade and come out and break me. I want, I'd want. i like to hold Russia at some point. I'd like to get into that holding Russia game. The white star was seven again? Eight. Yeah. So I think he's got Spain. No capital, but 12 territories plus, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve somewhere. And I think he just hit a bunch of red in Africa. Right? White attacked a lot. He's not attacking in here. Black gets 10 again, so two caps in Africa. He's going to try to get in here and make sure he breaks my Russia. He's going to run into the 10 stack. And then I'm going to come out with that 10 stack next turn. I'm going to try it. I already don't have the bonus, so it's fine. All I have to do is put black into the dumpster, and I think the rest of the board's going to work itself out, right? Because yellow's gone and blue's gone. So I, I think red and white are going to have a bit of a tussle down here, and I think I can just bully black out of the game over on this side. What's red doing? Do I card? I guess I don't card skip. Because I should. It's more worth it for me to take Russia and a bunch more territories and stuff. Uh, red started with only five. Yeah, so I think white did destroy him over here. If red bots, I also kind of want to go into white. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, good. Joyful Camel is too joyful to bot, which makes me happy. I need him to stay in the game so white doesn't just get everything over here for free and then cause me problems. Black's doing shocked face. Hmm. Something like that. What else do I want? I want like a five here. My cap's still very weak. A seven can. We'll do that. Yeah, do this. I don't hit the red two. I am going to hit this black one. Pretty sure black's going to break me. Uh, he'd have to trade, though, if I'm being honest. Or he's got a different way up. Yellow no set on three would be ideal. And then blue... Yeah, yellow's a bot, right? So it's unlikely yellow's going to have a kill on blue. Blue must be, like... I don't know. Where would blue even be? Like, in Italy somehow? I mean, I guess there's a chance yellow gets the blue kill. It trades on three nice. Okay, we are very much hoping blue has a set on four, though, which makes my sets bigger. Also, black might set early to hit Russia, and if he doesn't set early, then I hold Russia, which gives me that extra seven troops anyways. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting... My plan was to hit this red, too, and come over, and I just never did. But red's got his own problems down here. Blue does trade. Good. So those troops get put into somebody that's not me. Blocking something that doesn't involve me. I can take over the whole board very shortly. 
Like because of the uh, the Africa blizzard, maybe I can uh, I can have the three point on like Prussia, Vienna, Trieste. I just have to kill Black and get Yellow out of here. We're not gonna get there, I don't think. I, I think Black's gonna be the last one alive of my opponents. We'll see. White's trading now for eight. Starts with nine. Dude, is he gonna roll Red's cap? I guess I like I wouldn't see any numbers change here. We'll see what Red starts with. He's rolling a lot though. Presumably Red's. If red bots, this is a problem. If white just took red's cap and, and red bots, the red bot will probably trade hit Lithuania or stack Lithuania and break me and Karki. So that's another thing that's like red wasn't a bot, but it, me not clearing this too, if white just hit red hard enough, red might bot trade here and smack me, which hurts. You're gonna try to break me again? No, doesn't even try. Takes card and chills. Ah! All right, Joyful Camel gets five. He still has his capital. Good. White's basically toast, so I can actually come down and take all of this now. I also want to break uh, Central Europe. There's no reason for me to let Yellow hold plus five troops when it's going to roll up into my Russia at some point, right? I think Red's going to roll a bit of White. I'm going to go hit White and make sure White has no more bonuses. 28 and a trade. We don't need to sell to Russia. Make my cap a 10. Make that a 10. Make this like a 12. Three. This. Go in this way into white. Okay, let's make white taste it. White has no set, so. Yeah, that should be fine. White might even bought here. <laughs> yep, white bought it because I, I took everything from him. <laughs> this is some punishment, man. This is crazy. That was, uh, this is turn six. This bot added a lot to Netherlands. How did it add? I mean, troops. Wait! That means yellow took Greece. It's got this bonus now. This boy, did, wait, wait, wait. If yellow took Greece last turn... Oh, the flag's going to break me? That's fine. It almost didn't break me, honestly. If yellow took Greece, what did black start with last turn? Still got his 10, right? Yeah, okay. So maybe his caps are like Benghazi and Egypt or something. The two for could potentially kill yellow for his card. Oh, blue's in here. Oh no! Black can potentially, probably trade, kill blue, trade, and hit me. I have a trade to come back with. Very fortunate. This four guards my six. Also, if he does do that, he's got to go through my eleven of the five, the two, and the ten to even get up here. And then there's still a ten cap at the end. And then I still hold these two bonuses with this cap and then these two bonuses with this cap. So I think he is going to kill blue into a trade and come at me with like a 35 or a 40 or something crazy. Bigger. He's going to come at me with a 50 stack. This is going to be like a 50 stack after this trade, right? It's going to be big. 35 and then he's going to trade for 12 or 15. It's a literal 50 stack. Good prediction. I'm... Good with the numbers, baby. Oh, he's not going to come at me with the 50, but he puts the 15 on cap, and then he comes up to hit me. Hits my 11 for sure. How far does he go with it? The red bot? No, red's going to punish white. Do I kill white here, maybe? Hits the 10. Yeah, he's going right into me. Yeah, good luck. All the way opens my 10 cap. Nice. Thank you. I'm sending black really hard. I don't think I even have to trade, if I'm honest. Kill yellow for two. The thing is, I don't want him getting the chain kills. I need to get the kills, right? Even if they're only worth two cards and don't get a trade right away. I wonder if red cleans this bonus up. Which would mean I could just go down Italy to get white, because white's probably only in Italy. Red just traded for 20, 25, plus he's been stacking his cap. 
Nice. Okay, it leaves me alone. I don't think he gets the white kill. Hmm. Goes back to capital. Do I white kill trade? I don't like the 12 being there. That's very frustrating. So I still start with 25. I have to punish red and black, and I need to kill white here. Hmm. Just do 18. I'm not going to deal with his bullshit. Need enough to kill white, and then enough to go into black card. There's no white here. What? Where the fuck is white? Bottom. Yeah. Right, I made it back to cap two. <clears throat> now I have to fight both of these guys. I do have a trade on three. Okay. That was fortunate. I thought white was only here. Black actually left white up in Ankara. And I, at the very last second when I'm like, wait, white isn't here? I remembered that uh, white had a, a two in here. I, I remembered that black had a three here and he never rolled a four to fight it back. And then that white never left. So I, oh, fuck. I'm guarding this with an 18. I meant to break red. I ran out of time. I needed to 18 versus 12 this. And then get a good enough roll sit here with like a 7 stack. And then red only gets 5 troops. Hopefully has no trade. Can 13 v7 me for his 4th card. And then maybe I could have killed him. Black has a trade on 3. Fuck. This sucks. Ooh, gonna be a tough game because I'm fighting both of these guys. Yellow's in the middle. Okay, these four here. Should be safe on this gap, though. He going for the yellow kill? He's breaking to make sure I don't have that. Okay. I mean, okay. Well, let's see what red does. If red goes into me hard, too, it's going to be a tougher game. Now, I do have a trade, and I can take yellow's three cards without letting it trade. 14 here. Leaves it, though. Brings a different fortify up to Georgia, I think. Well, I can trade all three and destroy black. Red starts now with the bonus. Gets 11. I hope he gets my 7. He does. Okay. Really bad dice? No. 15 on the cap. 35. Can I kill red here? If I can kill red and yellow, I win. No. Um, okay, wait. 12 went back. So 15, he split three off. Uh, 12, and then he brought 11 over. He's got a 23 cap. I can kill red. The question is, what do I do about black if I kill red? <laughs> kill red and pray white has no set, or yellow has no set. Well, killing red gives... Yeah. This should guarantee me a trade next turn with five cards. I also broke Finland without opening Black's 14 stack here. Black has no trade. Um, yellow gets 20 troops. What? How? Central Europe, Southeastern Europe is, that's nine. Plus a cap is 11. Plus, how does it get nine more troops? Dude, did Black send me so hard that like, the yellow bot took everything from him and he, all the way down to Egypt? Did black get smoked by yellow? Did black still start with 10 last turn though, right? Am I wrong? 
Yeah. How did you... Five. Oh, did it have this middle one, too? Twenty. Well, whatever. I mean, twenty and no trade is fine. I can trade, kill, yellow, trade, and then black's done. He can try to kill yellow into a trade here, but it wouldn't be enough to win the game. Good luck. Knocks me out. That's fine. I come off that 18 and I do the full reacher. I know there's still a 14 in here. Oh, he's going to make sure to break. Cool. Five, four. He's going to break this too. Whatever. Trades are huge. I trade, kill, yellow trade. It's over. Good game, sir. Honor to play with you. I'm mad at you for breaking me and stuff, but like obviously you had to because that's how the game works. I'm winning the game, so we have to do that. I have to make sure not to feed this just in case it has no set. Oh, empty cap. What is this? <laughs> 12 cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is uh, quite done. I think I can probably just take his capitals. But I don't know for sure. So we're going to do this. Boom, 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 boom. Just make sure the dagger is in and it's strong. Game over, baby. He's even card blocked, maybe. <clears throat> no, he can he can 8v5. No, he bought it. Get out of my game, bitch boy. That was a great game. Props to this guy for fighting me to the death there. It was smart. Um, definitely needed to. 81 income? Ugh. Gross. We don't need to world dom him. We'll just... Uh, it was Benghazi, Egypt, the capital. Nice, clean, Europe-advanced domination, baby, by the orange man. This guy. Let's check ranks. Pretty fun game. That What a sick honeypot with the blizzards, too. We have... Oh, my God. Well, we have, we've been playing higher skill in Europe Advanced lately, and now I ran into a little bit of a lower skill. Black was clearly the best opponent that I had, and that explains why the game went so easy. Uh, thank you for joining to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're new here. I release Risk every single day, so go watch more of it right here.